Welcome. Everyone, at some point in one's life, it's almost a moral imperative, should play with the Mobius band or Mobius strip. Uh, me doing it on a video now like this is a little bit silly. You really need to get out some paper and some scissors and some tape and do the following. So if you have a scissors, a tape, paper and scissors, take a rectangle of paper and simply bend it around and glue the left hand to the right hand and that would make a cylinder of paper. So hopefully my diagrams are sufficient to make sense here. So you have a little band of paper. Now if I draw on this band a dotted line going through the middle of it and it goes through the back as well duh, 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 duh. and I got out my scissors and cut along that dotted line in fact actually what's easier is to draw the dotted line first on the paper on both sides and you'll see everything going on clearly that will produce for me two separate rings of paper one band, oops, very bad picture on the top and a second band on the bottom that separate nicely what Mobius did was imagine, okay, do the same thing. Take your strip of paper with a dotted line drawn on the back and the front down the middle as shown, but instead of gluing it directly left to right, put a twist in it. That is, glue the left hand to the right hand, but with a half bend. And what I mean by that, that means you twist the paper and you'll get something like this going on. Do, 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 do. And this construct here, it's a band of paper again, another ring with a twist in it. And here's the dotted line. It will actually go through this twist, kind of clever. Da, 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 da. Make this up and cut it along the dotted line. Just follow the dotted line blindly. Just, just do whatever the dotted line says. Follow it all the way through and see what comes out. And what you'll find is you won't get two separate pieces because normally cutting something in half separates into two parts. You'll find this is one great big, and I can't even draw it, sort of band of paper. Now, why is that the case? So you should pause the video, go make one of these things cut in half, and you'll see that you only get one piece of paper as a result. Well, here goes. It's pretty easy to explain. Uh, if you look at the original rectangle, what we did here is, ooh, sorry, I don't mean to do that, cancel that, is we've taken one end, so I'll take this part of the paper here. Whoops, where's my pen gone? I'm having trouble. That top, part, le uh, top of the left side of this rectangle is actually glued to the bottom right of the left triangle, of the, of the rectangle, what am I saying, sorry. And the bottom half on the left of the rectangle is glued to the top half of the right of the rectangle. So the half twist, and if I saw it, saw, uh, saw it here, would take, you know, something like this, align the green dot with the blue fuzzies like that. Now it kind of makes sense that the result has to be a single piece of paper. For example, I've definitely got this area of paper all on the top half. I come along, come along, even though it's cut along the dotted line, this green dot is attached to this other part of the green dot over here. So this paper is still attached to the bottom half. Keep going along, we'll still a single piece of paper to the blue fuzzy part of the bottom half of the join is attached to the top half of the join. So I can see actually these two, what I think are going to be separate halves of the paper are actually attached to make one great big band of paper in the end. Now of course hours of fun to be had. What's stopping you from just putting more than one half twist? Well if you put two half twists in the paper and you've got a little diagram like this, which is a little bit hard for draw. What happens if you chop that in half? Well actually my analysis this time will tell, tells me I will get actually two pieces of paper as a result. If I put in two half twists, here goes, draw the dotted line on the left and the right. This uh, part of the bottom part of the left would be, well, glued. one half twist brings it to matching with the top half, but a second half twist brings it back down to here, and ditto, the top half of the left would be after two half twists go to the bottom half, top half of the right. So now I could see that this top half of the paper, as I move along, is actually attached back to itself, and the bottom half is attached to itself. So this will result two half twists cut in on the center will give me two pieces of paper. Now, these two bands are likely to be intertwined because I seem to be twirling them around each other, so I bet you'll get two interlocked bands. So you can play this game forever and a day. Put in three half twists in a Moby strip, put in four half twists, and you can analyze what's going to happen by drawing this rectangle first, and then check your predictions by actually doing it. Now, now we'll get to the fun part. What I like to do in my, my math clubs for students is, you know, don't just do the ordinary things. Everyone's done this. What if you start putting in uh, multiple half twists? Great, done that. What if you start cutting along the thirds position instead? That is, if I take a, band, a rectangle of paper, 
draw on both sides two lines and then create from that a Mobius band as follows. So I'm not doing a very good picture here, in fact I'm doing a lousy picture. Oh my goodness. And then ask yourself what happens if I cut along each of the third lines around this diagram? What results then? In fact, keep going. This is pure exploration. Lots of hours of fun to be had with bits of paper. Let's get really, really crazy. Here's one of my favorite things to do. Take a rectangular paper again, but this time out of the left cut out a half loop and out of the right cut out another half loop. And if I just glued the top part of the left hand to the top part of the right hand, did it for the bottom part of the left hand, bottom part of the right hand, you'll see you'll get another band of paper, but, whoops, where did that go? But if you, you can follow my 3D drawings, it's a band of paper with a hole in it. So I get a picture kind of like that. My question is, if I cut along a dotted line around the hole, what will happen? Well, clearly you can see I'll get this band of paper will just separate out from the hole and become a bigger hole. But suppose I had arranged it that before I glued the top end to the top end, I put in a half twist like this. Da -da -da, excuse me. So I've got a little Mobius feature going on at the top. And now I still again attempt to cut around that hole. This could be tricky to do. Maybe when you make this thing, I would advise you to draw the dotted line on the left on the original paper before you glue it. Do it on the left on both sides. Do it on the right on both the back and the front sides. Then you can actually clearly follow this dotted line and then just blindly and religiously follow that cutting on that dotted line and see what happens. But then the fun doesn't stop there. What if I decide to put in, say, a half twist on the bottom portion of this hole as well? in the same direction as the top half twist, or maybe in the opposite parity to the top half twist. If I put in seven half twists on the top end and five half twists in the opposite direction the bottom end, what results? Maybe it'd be fun to do these, make a table of all the possible possibilities and see if you can analyze why what you're seeing is actually what's the right thing to see. Lots of fun. In fact, the fun really doesn't stop there. Do go to this book if you, if you like to see some more devilish things one can do with Mobius bands. All right, thanks very much.